All right, back now to that breaking news we've been following all hour. Crews continuing to battle that fire in downtown South Bend. Take a look at the smoke. This is what people are seeing for miles around the area. WSBT 22's Lauren Becker is live there right now. And Lauren, I know you've been talking with fire officials there on the ground. What have you learned? Have I learned they haven't been inside yet, so they don't know if anyone is hurt. But take a look at this right now. Smoke is just pouring out of the building. Now, when we first arrived, we could see smoke from miles away, but it has only gotten worse since being here. And uh, South Bend Fire continues streaming water onto the fire to try and put it out. And from standing here, uh, I can't really see any flames, but just a little bit ago, we were able to see some flames poking out from the window. This is a three story building built in the 1920s. Right now it looks like the structure is still there. Oh, now I'm seeing the flames from the window. The smoke kind of lifted a little bit. If we can zoom in, try and find the flames over there. Um, but I talked to people standing around. They say they did hear a bang, but the cause of this fire is still unknown. Uh, South Bend Fire says no one has been in the building yet, so that's why they don't know if there are no, or they don't know if there are any injuries as of right now. Uh, but the company posted to their Facebook and they said we are currently in the process of moving our temp store back to our warehouse in South Bend. So this is heavy smoke again and it's only getting thicker. Now I did talk with uh, South Bend Fire and they said if you have asthma or a lung condition and you live in the path of the smoke uh, to try and avoid this area, maybe go over to Mishawaka, um, try and avoid this area as much as possible because like I said, it's only getting thicker and now West Sample is blocked on both sides. So if you do plan on driving down this area, you're going to want to avoid this area as much as possible. And I plan on bringing you more information in about a half an hour at six o'clock. But for now, I'm live in South Bend. Lauren Becker, WSBT 22 News. Lauren, I have a question for you. Since you've been talking with fire investigators there, have they said, I mean, this obviously does not look like it's well controlled at this point. Have they said whether any of the other buildings might be in jeopardy at this point? I do not know that, but it is next to this older building. I talked with people around the area. They say this building has been vacant for quite a few years. The fire looks like it's only on uh, the one building, but they're hoping to make sure it doesn't transfer over to that vacant building. But that's all I know right now, and I plan on finding out more and bringing you that update at 6. Yeah, we'll stay on this, Lauren. Thank you very much.